by utilizing 3D printing, we're able to tell a story about superheroes and love and conflict and action and adventure. There is no feel like the feel of stop motion. If you want to create something from your head and it doesn't exist and it can't exist, you animate it. Be super cool, be super cool. At Stupid Buddy Studios, we create a lot of stop motion animation that comes in the form of TV shows such as Robot Chicken, Buddy Thunderstruck, and Super Ranchin, as well as things like commercials and short spots. Within the last three years, we've incorporated 3D printing into the fabrication pipeline. The Envision Tech printer has been great for us because we can make aesthetic changes much faster than had we hand sculpted them. That's one less step that a public fabricator would have to take on. With 3D printing, we're able to save a lot of time because it's already all, all broken down, fits together, works the way you want it to. The Perfactory printer has been great due to its ease of use and it's also extremely consistent results. Sometimes we do characters with things like really fine crow's feet around their eyes or hair detail and scales, things like that. And R5 Gray has served our purposes for both getting that really beautiful amount of detail but then also lasting throughout the stop motion animation process. For a show like Super Mansion 3, we have 3D printed a large majority of the show. Pretty much most of what you see on a lot of the human characters is 3D printed except for the fabric. To be able to print all of their accessories, we are running the printer twice a day, every day. Even loving the old school techniques as much as I have, I, I would definitely say that a show on the scale of Super Mansion would not have been able to be done with the budgets and timelines without 3D printing. Stop motion is the oldest form of animation and it really ties in the imagination with the real world. And once you see the characters come to life, there's nothing else like that. <laughs>